Hi, I'm Nick Chase from Cloud Geometry. Welcome to our series on platform engineering. We've been doing platform engineering since before it was even a thing, and we've noticed several problems coming up again and again. So we built our own reference implementation, CG DevX, which is what you're going to see today. In previous videos, we showed how easily you can provision your Kubernetes platform with Cloud Geometry's Cloud Native Quick Start Kit, then use GitOps to help manage the infrastructure. In this video, we'll look at creating a robust software delivery automation pipeline that integrates CICD and GitOps into a unified approach. This method relies heavily on binary artifacts and their promotion, which can give you more confidence in rolling out and rolling back changes, streamlining the delivery process. Here's my colleague, David Fishman, who's going to show you how it works. So, for starters, we have two repositories that were created by the Quick Start Kit automation. One has application code. The second one has uh, uh, application infrastructure code. Now, we're automatically adding some templates and configuration files for each repository that create. So we'll start by cloning the repos and take a look at what's in them. We'll start by opening the application repo and on the root level, we'll see Argo workflow definitions for our CI pipeline. Uh, note that there are three workflow definitions, one to build the image and chart and publish them. The second is to deliver the, work, uh, the workload to pre-production environments. And the last one is to make the final deployment to production. Uh, now, what we also see is a GitHub action definition, uh, which will be used to orchestrate the Argo workflow. We have all the stages of our promotion pipeline defined here. And finally, a uh, Helm chart for the application. Now, note this is a template that we provide to simplify the process. You should update it for actually using it for your applications. Uh, but it includes a configuration map, deployment, uh, secrets, um, uh, and uh, an imp another important part that we provide, which is uh, an external secrets management mechanism uh, that we're using for this demo. Uh, we'll also include ingress configuration, service, and uh, uh, service account. These are all the standard things you're going to need when you work with your application in this environment. Um, one more important note is that we also have a distinct path for secrets to be uh, read from the secrets management solution defined in the values configuration. Now, let's navigate to the main GitOps repo that we have for our uh, uh, platform infrastructure as code uh, management and workload registry. Uh, here you'll see in the values file for staging and production environments, we're changing the path for the secrets uh, that we're gonna create uh, in a few minutes. Let's navigate to the GitOps repo that we have for this application infrastructure as code. We have a Terraform entry point, and we've already plugged in a remote state as a data source. So we could reference uh, AWS account, AWS region, other resources like Vault when uh, provisioning application-specific infrastructure. We also have templates for AWS resource management like S3 and, and so forth, uh, which in this case, for simplicity in this demo, our application is not actually gonna use any of these resources from AWS. And finally, a template for adding new secrets. Let's make some changes and add secrets for our application. Now, similar to secrets on the uh, platform 
GitOps level, which you can think of as uh, but you'll uh, get global. The, uh, it'll show let's you where we're add environment specific secrets for our application. Uh, to do this, you can just uncomment the snippets that we provide, and now it looks just fine. Now, when we're done editing, let's double check the names and commit the changes. We have our commit in a feature branch. Let's create a pull request. The workflow is similar to the one we had shown you previously as part of how a uh, platform is managed with GitOps. Here, uh, Atlantis, uh, as part of the uh, pull request automation, is detecting changes in the infrastructure as code, and it creates a plan for changes and instantiates a, a PR with that change. We can see that it's going to create new secrets. So let's open Vault. As you can see, we have only global secrets defined. And so we're going to create new secrets specifically for our new application under a path as defined in our application GitOps repo. Let's imagine that our change passed peer review and uh, all, all that goodness. And we can now apply the changes by typing Atlantis apply as the command of the CLI in the PR comments section. As before, Atlantis will apply the changes and merge and close the PR automatically. Now let's go back to vault and refresh the page. And as you see, uh, we've created a new path uh, specifically for our application. And under that path, we have three environments, each containing two new secrets as defined in the application infrastructure as code. So now let's move on to define the application. What we're going to do next is use a simple demo application that we've built to kind of uh, give you a sense of uh, how you can use the, the quick start kit for your own workload. Uh, let's take the application source code from our main GitHub account. As you can see here, we're also making use of uh, our template repositories, which were used to uh, bootstrap those repositories that we're uh, working on now. And so I'm going to clone the demo application, this uh, demo workload that we've created for you for demonstration purposes. And uh, as we're finishing downloading the application, uh, we'll be ready to continue, so just stand by. All right, so let's uh, let's click over to the IDE. The application's pretty simple. Uh, really, all it does is read secrets from the uh, environment variables and con and config map values, uh, also from environment variables, and uh, display it to us on a web page. Uh, so, as part of the application deployment process, we're going to set these environment variables up by reading the Kubernetes config map and injecting the secrets that are loaded from Vault. Application code is already ready, so we'll just copy paste it into this lightweight, uh, minimalistic demo app repository. The build process is described inside a Docker file. So to see that it actually works, let's commit the changes we have and then we'll commit that directly to the main branch to make the process go more quickly. Now, the application expects some parameters as environment variables. And so we need to provide those to the uh, application. So to do so, we're going to open our Helm charts. Now, let's go back to GitHub. Set, and you can see here, there's another commit. Take them from a second commit in this we're repository that we just created. Config map. And for this commit some triggered our de delivery and pipeline. And also use That's external GitOps secrets to read now, data. Under the hood, GitHub Actions started Argo workflow. This is done to minimize dependencies on the GitHub Actions. And Let's provide one a secret cloud agnostic solution that you can before use and another one where you actually deploy. So for I'm uh, opening where we're going to lens, use it, 
to and here set you can see our that the Argo workflow is Git right. repo. We can also check workflow status using the Argo workflow web interfaces. So let's open that up. And here we see we have a link in our platform repo. Similar to Argo CD, we're going to use Vault to log in. As we've already logged into Vault, we will uh, get to the Argo workflow UI almost instantaneously. And as you can see, the workflow is still running. The main goal of this workflow is to build a Docker image, update the Helm chart, and then push them to the registry. During the next stage, we're going to promote these changes through the successive environments from development to staging and then to production. This process will take a bit. So uh, while it's working, we'll switch back to the platform GitOps repository and talk a little bit about what's really happening with the deployment. In our platform GitOps, we have a global registry of all of the applications that are running on the cluster. All new workloads, uh, like this uh, lightweight minimalistic demo app, uh, are added to this registry, and each application has its own Argo CD app manifest and Helm chart and the respective values. The Helm chart strictly defines the exact version of the application that would be running on the Kubernetes cluster. This target version is automatically updated by the Argo workflow as part of the delivery process. So let's synchronize changes with our GitHub repository. You can see that the target application version for the development environment was just updated by our automated pipeline. So let's copy the URL and try to open it in the browser. Uh, what you can see is that this release candidate was delivered to the development environment, upstream, of course, uh, and our application also gets secrets from Vault. And as you can see, it's using global secrets that were defined earlier back in our prior video. While our application is delivered to the staging environment, what we're going to do is go back to the IDE and sync changes with the remote environment. And what you can see is that like the development environment, the application version was also updated by the pipeline. Magic. The main difference between the development and staging versions is that they have different paths to read secrets. And as you can see, we are pointing to our application and environment specific values. Let's go back to the browser and navigate to our application's staging environment. And what you see here is the application is not accessible yet because the delivery pipeline is still running. It's not done. Let's take a look now at Argo CD. Each time we have a new version of the Helm chart, Argo CD detects this change and starts to synchronize our new desired state with the actual state of the Kubernetes cluster. You can see that application deployment is still in progress and the deployment replica set and pods are still being created. In just a couple seconds, we'll be able to see that the deployment was done and that the application reads as healthy. It's good to go. Back to the application, we reload the page. Now the application is loaded and it uses secrets from the application staging path while using the same Helm chart and the same Docker image for consistency. And when we go back to look at the delivery pipeline, that last step is the deployment to the production environment, which is now complete. Again, let's pivot back to the IDE. The production chart is similar to the ones that are used for development and staging, after synchronization with GitHub, you can see that the version is set. And instead of using a release candidate with a commit hash, we now have a clean minor version.
let's open our production application using the URL from the Helm chart to verify that it is up and running. As you can see, we're still using the same Docker image, but a new Helm chart version. So this application is similar to the staging configuration, which also uses environment specific secrets. So let's take a quick recap. What have we seen? We've seen how we very easily deliver changes into an application using a predefined, uh, pre-built Git ops chain of delivery pipeline steps, a single delivery pipeline. This kind of solution will take a lot of the uncertainty and the mistakes in the uh, software delivery process, which as we are uh, uh, out to do to begin with, uh, gets better software in the hands of users and customers faster.